Making a documentary with her. Well, cheers, Jack. This is, cheers, this Jack. is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so Here much. Here we are at the Gold Hot Club. Mm. As you came in, this was this was the the club. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'll just come right prepared. Oh, good. <laughs> It's going, you know. Oh, yeah. there's your junior clerk. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. oh, so now I have the original count at home. So to become, I'd be, I'd be afraid to travel with that. If I lost that, I'd lose my fucking life. <laughs> so to become a member of the club, it was, you, um, you had to have a letter of reference from your uh, job. No, that's the letter from my job. Uh huh. <laughs> and the Kellumscott Gardens is literally around the corner. Right, right. There. And so I see. No, here's here's the thing. Right. Go back to the 70s or 80s, mm -hmm. right? Now, this place was closed down for about 10 years, right? Now, it was the, the official name of, of the building, right, was the Shepherd's Bush Club, a working man's club. Right. But it was the, the guy called Bob Drews, mm -hmm. who ran the agency, mm -hmm. because of Gold Talk Road, he decided to call it the Gold Talk Club. But it was only the Gold Talk Club on a Friday and Saturday night. Oh. It was not the Gold Talk Club on a Sunday night, okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It, was it reverted to being a gentleman's club. Oh, okay. Okay. Right? okay. Now, um, so we we could only be here on Friday and Saturday nights, right? Now, in the in the seventies, right? At some stage in the seventies, the place closed down. Right. Then it was reopened, and way back in the mid seventies, I was here for a gig. We had no way we were playing, and I ventured along here, and they wouldn't let me in. Oh. They were extremely strict oh. about who, who you had to be a member. Right. And it didn't matter how many times I told the guy, look, I used to be a mod, and I used to come down here. <laughs> you know, this was the fulcrum, the hub of, yeah. of, of, of mod, uh -huh. as, as is portrayed in right. the yeah. um, it did The guy wouldn't let me in, and I was broken after that. Yeah. But as the years went by, that because of the financial cost of running the place, mm -hmm. no, then they're welcoming people. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. they're absolutely delighted now with the frats from, <laughs> from Bellevue. <laughs> Uh, boy, um, well, it was Irish Jack, not the fucking Guinness, but, um, but they're delighted. They're delighted with the Pats from Seattle and, and, and Irish Jack himself. They'll take our money. They're delighted with our business. So, no, the, the original bar was over on that side. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's over there. Oh, over there and there. Uh, okay. No. That, that's Chrissy Corbell. Okay. Now, Chrissy Corbell's son, Chris, right? Uh -huh. who, who has made contact with me. Oh. We've never met. Uh -huh. He's going to be. Oh, really? Down there oh. At, at two o'clock. Okay. Oh, that. Wow. That's Ian Moody. Mm -hmm. Right? This gentleman invited himself along, I don't know who he was. <laughs> there's Roger. Right. There's me. Ah. Now yeah. there's Tommy Shelley. Okay. Right? He is now deceased. Ah. As is Ian Moody. Oh, huh. Right? Tommy Shelley's uncle, Roy Shelley, was ah. a steward here. Oh. And there's Martin Gage. Oh, and that's Martin. Oh, okay. And um, wow. it was Martin and me who were in the miming home. And right. Martin's brother Lee uh -huh. and a guy called Peter Campbell. Okay. So that photograph 
was that is a famous photograph mm -hmm. because Mr. Pratt, it was taken on the 26th of July, the anniversary of Fidel Castro's grandma <laughs> arriving at Guan was it Guantanamo Bay to begin the Cuban Revolution. Oh. <laughs> You remember that? And that was taken on the, oh. twin, on the, the 26th of July, 1978. 78, okay, yeah, because that was in drank, 62. We yeah. all drank over there, and Roger, uh -huh. Roger put 40 pounds on the counter, oh. which was an astronomical oh, yeah. thing. He, oh arrived, he arrived by helicopter, <laughs> the, the, um, really? the, well, not on the road, outside, yeah. but, <laughs> at the Hammersmith heli, helipad, oh, my and uh, the chauffeur <laughs> driven car to here. Oh, 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 oh. Once he entered the portals uh -huh. the the um, the gold top right. he was back being Roger right. from, from Crossy Road. Right. And he right. put forty pounds on the oh, He'd probably been wanting to do and that for was, many years. We were looking stupid at it. Yeah. And he said he said to the barn he, he, um, I think her name was Linda. He said, Linda, when when that money runs out, just give me a shell. <laughs> And that was it. And uh -huh. We were up here. Now, in a minute, I'm going to take you downstairs to the dance, the little dance, dance hall. Yeah. Right. And I brought him down on the zone. Now, Roger hadn't been down there since 1965. Mm. So this was 13 years later, in 1978. Uh -huh. Right. And he's not an emotional man, as you know. Right. You no, know, he doesn't cry over spilt milk. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. And um, whether he has a cat or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I brought him down and I showed him where the little stage was, which uh -huh. is now a podium, uh -huh. with a picture of Her Majesty on horseback on oh. the stage. Uh -huh. And I heard nothing, and whatever way I looked at his face, oh. tears, uh -huh. and all I heard from him was a. Uh, I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah. And that was it. was a lovely moment. And that was 1978. That was 1978. So what was yeah. the um, <laughs> occasion that you? Were, what was the occasion? Was, we were we were organising the Who exhibition. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That was for that. Well, okay. I see. So was that um, the Did the you same? Know that my consultancy piece of. Rocketed. <laughs> yeah, much like the uh, 40 pounds would uh, <laughs> wouldn't give you as much Guinness as it did there. Chrissy, Chrissy Corbett's son, right? Yeah. Made this for me. Oh. <laughs> the most man. <laughs> and then he said, oh my God, I'm going to have to get a computer now. <laughs> well, yeah. What's that out of Oh, that's good. Isn't that lovely? That is such a terrific yeah. picture, yes. yes. Oh. Um, Tommy. Yeah. Me, Roger, uh, Chrissy Corbett, Ian Hoody. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to ask you, how, um, how was it that the Who came to play here? I mean, were there, uh, was there a regular sort of uh, dance nights or something, or other bands? Or? Well, on the Friday and Saturday nights, yeah. uh, when I came down here, the first time ever was mm. 1963, mm. right? Now mm. I'd already seen the detours in 1962, yeah. right? And I'd sort of become friends with Pete. Oh, okay. And yeah. The rest of the band, but like mostly Pete. But the Fridays and Saturday nights was mm. run by a guy called Bob Bob Drews, uh -huh. right? Who ran it as a sort of like a mod night. Uh -huh. right? Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Huh. And the band started off here as the Detours. Yeah. Then they went through the phase of playing here as the Who, uh -huh. Mark One. Yeah. And then after that into the high numbers phase. Right. Which was ran from the third of July sixty four to um we'll say the second week of November. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Um uh, sixty four yeah. when Kit and Chris took over. Right, right. Oh. Well, you say that um, mod night. That means that they had other sort of mod bands playing here before them. Yeah, basically, yeah. There, there was already a bit of a scene. Probably not for too long before that. Though. I saw the Kings play here. Oh my God! Oh really? <laughs> awesome. The Ravens. The Ravens. Well, oh, okay. Talks. Oh wow! And I saw um, Jimmy Reed played here. Uh huh. And um, Millie, my boy Lollipop. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Fortunes played here. Oh. The Animals played here oh. twice. 
the small faces played here. Um, Ronnie Wood, who is a very good friend of mine, played with the Bulls here regularly. Mm. And um, the Downliner sect also played here quite a lot. Mm. Wow. So when we played here as 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 Blue Mark One, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Our support band more often than not was it was the Macau. Oh, and okay. the Macau was fronted by a guy called Peter Brown and Kelly. Yeah. So that's where the half comes in on my membership. <laughs> it, it's a tribute to Peter Brown and Kell. Oh. Because Peter Brown and Kell had a kind of a you know like a spike milligan type, oh, type uh -huh. of humour. Uh. And <laughs> in the old days, in the old days in London, if you were if you were living in Acton, uh -huh. right, your telephone, your telephone number, right, mm. your, your the mm. four digits, mm. but your the, the three digit will be ACON. Right? Oh, so okay, be right. ACO, yeah, right. Yep. You'll be listed in the book as ACO, uh -huh. but the actual title of it was ACON. Right. So you, right. if you if you're living in Acton and you yeah. and the phone rang and you picked it up, you'd say ACON four one two seven. Right. 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 Uh, when mm -hmm. my aunt and uncle, when we lived around the corner in Kingstock Gardens, yeah. our number was um, Shepherd's Bush S H E. So you, you, uh -huh. you just say Shepherd's Bush and the number. Uh -huh. If you were living in Hammersmith, right, uh -huh. your 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 prefix would be Riverside. Uh -huh. So Riverside seven one two four. Right. And that was it. So when yeah. you phoned Peter Brown and Kelly, uh -huh. right, he would answer the phone, and invariably he <laughs> might say, as I said, now he had this kind of. Mill Milliganesque right. type of humour. Right. He might say, "Met, met for Tidbury Tabernacle," <laughs> or, or he might say, "We got twelve steps to priesthood." <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, he'd say things like that. Yeah. So another time then, he he would answer the phone and he would say he'd give out the number, right? We we say we just say his number was uh, Acorn seven one two one, right? But he would say Acorn seven one two one and a half. <laughs> and so, so so that's I stuck in a half. Oh, I see. Right? And the um, the, the guy then that ran, that was the secretary of the club, Ted Woolgar, uh -huh. he, he pulled me on it. And he, 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 he said, Young Jack, what's all this about? You, you can't be having halves up here, you know, it's a serious offence. <laughs> You got in trouble uh, for that. No, you're not going to believe this, but Tony Fletcher, uh, who wrote Sam Dear Boy, mm -hmm. right? I had him down here. And believe it or not, Tony Fletcher was asked to leave the premises. Oh. Be yes. Because <laughs> that... he was wearing jeans. Oh. That's it. Oh, oh. But everything's changed. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? This lot? <laughs> Well, so what did people? So everyone had suits back then. Sorry. Everyone wore suits back then for the mod, like that. Well, yeah, I mean they wore suits and uh, they wore Harrington jackets and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the 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 first person I ever saw down here, I was about to tell you that earlier, right mm -hmm. before I sidetracked myself, <laughs> is I saw Screaming Lord Such. Oh, oh okay. Him. And he. Because we lived around the corner, yeah. um, I'd already seen the detours in, in Bosley's, right? Yeah. So I said to my cousin Janice, she was the same age as me, she was practically like my sister. Yeah. I said, Janice, I said, there's, there's a club around the corner. Yeah. I said, and uh, like, there's a dance club or something like that. And she said, mm -hmm. I saw some posters. So I thought, that uh, someone called Screaming Lord <laughs> So My cousin Janice, she was a bit of a beatnik. Oh. She was very much involved in the uh, CND campaign for nuclear disarmament. Oh, right, okay. And she knew Bertrand Russell. And oh, wow. She was marched from Aldermaston really? to Trafalgar Square. Oh, my goodness. And she listened to um, modern jazz and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So she said, wow. she said, don't tell, don't, don't tell Aunt Carolyn and <laughs> John about the gold <laughs> 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 Yeah. Of course, like when she said that, I wanted to know all about it. Right, right, and right so exactly. So I came down, and there was a crowd out there, right? Oh. Most, most of the people that were there were like teddy boys. Oh, oh, right? okay. They were very few Yeah, yeah. So, very so 
there was a crowd of about 150 people standing outside. Mm. There was a queue on the other side. And I, I said I said to some I said, I said hey, hey, what's going on? Yeah. He said, what's going on? <laughs> Sweetie, no such is coming, mate. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> Today, would, would I be like going? Oh, yeah. She didn't get in. Got a fat bob. <laughs> so um, the next thing, a house arrived. Right? Oh, oh. And with a coffin, oh. uh, open. <laughs> and um, they were screaming out such bad in the coffin. Oh. And his face was white. Oh. And the band. Now, this may have been before Richie Blackmore. Uh, with him, uh -huh. Richie Blackmore, you know, from oh, Greenville. Right. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So Richie, was, yeah. Richie was, a, was a member of the Savages. Oh. But, but very many musicians uh -huh. went through the, the role of, uh -huh. of being a member of the Savages. Oh. Loads of them. Oh, I see. And, uh, you know, like, uh -huh. Carol, little know, people, they, uh -huh. fabulously um, historical characters within the uh -huh. that London music scene. Oh, they see. would have been a savage. You oh, know, okay. at some stage. Well, but Richie Blackmore yeah. definitely was. Oh, it was like, um, oh, who was the other? Uh, Alexis Corner like, or the, the the one that had all the that all the different blues guys like clapped in. Yeah, that was Alexis Corner. Was that Alexis Corner yeah. kind of thing where they would, yeah, yeah, well, a lot of different like people. Blues, no, yeah, yeah, that was but blues. This is, I know. This he, is Alexis no, would, okay. would have, would have found them um, streaming like such, who kind of, yeah. Stylized himself on screaming Jay Hawkins. Oh, right? I see. Okay. And, um, such anyway was the the, the 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 savages got out of the house. Mm. Right. They, they pulled out the coffin <laughs> and they came in those that wonderful door, uh -huh. the portals of the University yeah. of fucking mud <laughs> which is this which is a neighborhood I, I, yeah? I, I, How, I mean of all the bands in the world and <laughs> english yeah. bands particularly <laughs> no one's got the gold top yeah this where we are today yeah yeah and i don't mind saying it yeah. into the camera this is the living room of the home yeah, the gold house. Well, sir. and it's a treasure. Mm -hmm. the, it should be a listed building, and it's yeah, not it's too many people know about it. Loads yeah. of people, it would never cross their minds. The Gold Hall Club it must have got knocked down months ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> because right. These, yeah. these spaces do. Well, yeah. and, but thank no. God we, we have it. Uh -huh. yeah. So such yeah. such came in the door, <laughs> right in the house. Everybody else followed in. It was like an Irish funeral. Oh, okay. Right? He came in and he was carried down the stairs, down to the dance floor. Right? Right. He went on stage right. and he had these stunts where he used to do numbers like um, like um, I'm a hog for your baby, you know, uh -huh. uh, the, the old R and B number. Yeah. And um, uh, he he would do a few maybe Bo Diddley, Chuck Berry numbers, right. stuff like that. Yeah. And then he had this thing, he he, he had long hair. Oh. Right? Oh. Uh -huh. And uh, he looked like the mark of the same. Yeah. And then he would say, ladies and gentlemen, I need a girl from the audience. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, and yes. this one purely terrified young lady would be pushed up. <laughs> Offered him for sacrifice. <laughs> a, 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 a sacrificial lamb <laughs> wearing a, a mini skirt and high heels, <laughs> red lips, <laughs> hair like looking like Doris Day. You know, yeah. She would say, and uh, <laughs> Uh, and he said to her, uh, most kind to meet you, the, darling. The, uh, where are you from? I'm from Hounslow. <laughs> Lovely place. I've murdered a few people at Hounslow lately. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he, he'd lay her on, on, on a slab. <laughs> Uh -huh. And you'd have the thing, he'd have um, like a bucket of pig's blood. Oh. Right? And he'd, he'd have the props, right? This sounds like a was, hammer horror this film, this right? Was an amazing. <laughs> show. That is fantastic. Yeah. And then again, of course, there wouldn't be any electronic wizardry, no. Right, no. Like it wouldn't be like Alice Cooper. Right. This yeah. was this right. was English music hall. Yeah. With, Awkwardness yeah. in its awkwardness and, and 
it's so, that it's trans- sort of predictability right. and the audience. You know. Wonderful transition with the music hall into uh, rock and roll like, and the yeah, two were yeah, intersecting. Yeah, exactly, and, yeah, like a board yeah. of it. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 And, and there'd be this... Um, um, the, the, he'd lay her on the slab and then he would sort of um, mimic pulling her heart out. Oh, and wow. you get all these sound effects. Uh-huh. And um, the crowd would look terrified, uh-huh. you know? And he, he, he turned around and he'd have the mic. It's all right, it's you know, only tearing her bloody heart <laughs> And, and, and he, he would have this prop, a heart, a bleeding heart, oh, from, uh-huh. the, from the bucket, yeah, you see? Yeah. And he'd hold it up uh-huh. and the, the, the crowd. <laughs> sort of old-fashioned stuff. Yeah. People, like, well, um, there, there was no cynicism in it. The yeah. audience reaction was innocent. Yeah. Innocent. yeah. Oh, my God, done it. You <laughs> <laughs> went too far this yeah. time. <laughs> and, 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 and then he, he'd address the audience and he'd say something like, does, it, does anybody mind if I saw her leg off? <laughs> <laughs> and he'd go, he'd go, so the, the oh next thing God. then, the next thing is, that's when somebody like Richie Blackmore then oh, would, uh, would come into play oh, and he'd, wow. he'd run his finger <laughs> down the string mm, yeah. of the guitar, uh-huh. right down to the end, and you get the... <laughs> and, and it's so, oh, the sawing, yeah. So, yeah. And then he'd, he'd have an artificial leg, again, with blood <laughs> oh, dripping from it. Yeah. Right? And he'd hold it up to the audience and then... Uh, <laughs> uh, so the, the, the night that I saw all that, right? The night I saw all that, I came up to the bar. I have never seen anything like in my life. I didn't know what to say. I came up to the bar, and he was standing at the bar. Now he oh. wasn't very tall, uh-huh. but the hair. I couldn't get over the hair. I, and and I, this was 1963. 63. Yeah. Early 63. Yeah. And I found myself staring at him, <laughs> and he kind of. He, he looked like and there was a geezer standing behind him and he was having a drink and I, I whispered to this geezer no. I said, excuse me, is he, is, is he, is he really a lord? Yeah. <laughs> he says, what? Well, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, he said, he's he screaming, I said, yeah. no, it's really, he says, he fucking Dave such, he's some green but everyone knows him. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. So was the uh, so was the stage in the same general place? Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and the dance floor, yeah. Yeah. obviously. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. We have to keep our voices on. Oh, oh, right. But the, the, um, They'll call out the high numbers now. Yeah. And <laughs> five oh. He wrote a song for the band, right? Hmm? Seven two. That's the door. I two. as well. Mm-hmm. I've not mended the door years later. So I can explain. Mm-hmm. This is in the documentary. Yeah. It's the same door I knocked on. One and seven, put up the song, which was complete and utter plagiarism. Three and four. Ray Charles, Sticks and Stones. Oh, okay. With the Raylettes from his album. Two and four. Um, Twenty-four. I typed the song up once it was typed. Five and four. Like, like Fifty-four. The <laughs> but it was, an, oh, it was a bit like I'm the face. On the song. On the song. Rip off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I knocked on the door. And I had, four, I had, I had it in my pocket like a slip of paper. <laughs> you see? You yeah. see? So, Three and six. Yeah. Thirty-six. When he... One, when he saw one. the when he saw the slip of paper in my hand, uh, his whole face this is tones in, right? Yeah. His whole face okay. lit up. Uh, and he thought he was looking for autographs. Oh. <laughs> no, Jesus no, Christ. No, no, no. <laughs> they were nowhere near an autograph then. Didn't he have a record of? Four and seven. And, uh, and, and then he thought maybe it's not autographs. And he kind of looked at the looking for them. Yeah. And uh, then he thought maybe Oh, sorry. Wait, what, what, we could. Uh, yeah, we could. Last time I called 47. Uh, uh, maybe it's not autographs. Maybe, Three and one. maybe he's a recovery agent for the gear or something. Maybe. <laughs> so um, I said. Um, six and five, six I, five. I, I think you're the spoksman for the band. Mm. And uh, he said, yes, I am, yeah. Well, he wasn't. Three and two. 32. Yeah. So 
He said, well, what's happening? I said, oh, I've written a song. One, three, thirteen. Said, You've written a song. And he had this kind of irritating way of some... Eighty-seven. Longing. Eighty-seven. Yeah. And... Uh, he, he three and nine, thirty-nine. Brought me into the dressing room. The deed was just standing alone. Five and two, and then fifty-two. Jack's written a song. And they were looking at me, they were suddenly going Three and seven, and seven, thirty-seven. So I had a pair of miraculous, <laughs> and, and um, I had Three a and eight, English, thirty-eight. And I started, and mm -hmm. I can't sing, yeah. and they were literally... Four and two, forty-two. <laughs> yeah. No. He left the door open. Two and uh, nine, one, twenty-nine. Will, will my words come out on that? If I'm speaking very well. Six and nine, well, sixty-nine. <laughs> Unfortunately, Thompson turned the world out, and everyone. somebody went through to use the toilet, and they looked at me, and they 40. saw me, and I came back out, and I, I said, there's a fucking nut on in the dressing room, and he's doing an audition for the detours. <laughs> <laughs> used to be a bouncer sitting, standing at the Actually, at, I am at videoing. How are you? And if you went through, the drapes, plastic drapes. Sure. If you went through, and you just walked through, and the drapes kind of went, this was pretty cool and flashed to do that, you know? They didn't like that. They were supposed to put a slit in the drapes, and gentlemen walk through. So, down on the left here, was all these um, settees, for couples, courting couples and all that. Well, this is obviously where I came yeah. from, where Mum and Dad are. If it wasn't for that set, those settees, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. And um, <laughs> that was a dressing room for the band okay. there, and, and over on that side oh, no, no. So the stage is more or less where, where, where it was. Because I've, I've got, of course, I've, I've got that lovely interview with Pete, where he talks about coming off the stage. Yeah. And as you and Dad stood, like he, he comes off the stage and right. through a door and he talks to you and Dad. That's right. Interview, and that yeah. could be that door? Yeah, that's, that's the door. Yeah. I, to Tom, I was going to go down and knock. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, by coincidence, that lady there with the blonde hair, her name is Penny. Yeah. And she's Tommy, Tommy Shelley's aunt. So he's yes. the boy in the yeah, in the floor. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's penny, isn't it? Yeah. So I I make sure the boy that I showed you, Chrissy Corbell, this is his son. Yeah, the he's, girls with Chrissy. Yeah, he's a, he's he's he's, he's Chris as well. He's driven up from San.